We don't know what it means. Hey, what's up? It's Tokyo Hotel, and you are watching Kombini. Tokyo Hotel is a band that is around for more than 20 years and exists of four friends from school. Tom and I started very early. We started when we were seven years old. We had a stepdad, he was in music, and then he gave us our first guitar. And then we met these two. And they were the only ones playing bass and drums at our age yeah. in our city. Yeah, we went yeah. to the same music school and then but yeah, met the other two. We went uh, to a more difficult school and they went to, to easier school. It's not true. Pourquoi le nom Tokyo Hotel? Added Bill and I, we started out as Black Question Mark. We thought that's a super cool name. Then we had a newspaper writing about our performance and they said we had a devilish good guitar sound. Then we said, that sounds amazing. Let's call ourselves devilish. And then we were devilish for a while. Yeah. And then at some point we said, uh, we need a different name, something that sounds the same everywhere. I came up with Tokyo Hotel and everyone loved it. It's going to be the- Oh, when? It's gonna be <laughs> Tokyo Hotel forever. No, never. I mean, there's one other name that we always considered. It's Tom and the band. But it could also be Bill and the band. So that's why we're not really firm on that. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea. It's amazing. Vous avez créé votre style exprès pour votre musique? Oh no. Our music label, they always hated me. They were always like, but his hair is too long, too much makeup. Too I always had new hair. They're like, he can't do it. He doesn't look like a normal guy. But as soon as somebody told me you can't do that, I wanted it even more. So if somebody said my hair was too big, the next day was okay. even bigger. And then people loved it, which makes it great. <laughs> but it wasn't intentional. For me, it was just living my true self. Vous êtes très différent aujourd'hui. Yeah. Qu'est-ce qui s'est passé? Yeah, what happened? Georg? Life happened. Georg. It's life. I mean, I know that my face Girl. doesn't look much older than 15, mm. but... Yeah. But, not um, sure about that. But yeah, hair is changing. I feel like, you know, just like with music to stay alive, you need just, you just need change. We also talked about some songs don't age well. It's the same thing with Georg. He didn't age well, but you know, it's just what it is. It's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> This was the one of the first songs we wrote for our very first album when we were only 13 years old or 12. I was in the studio and I had this folder and it had this one sentence that said beyond the world. And I remember that my producer at the time, he saw that he was like, oh my God, this is so deep. We have to make a song out of this. They teach us how to write songs because we had no idea how to write a hit song. But nobody knew that Monsoon is going to be a hit. Monsoon was just the door opener for us for in like every country. Yeah. And that's a song that aged well. I mean, not only because it was the biggest hit, but also because we still think it's a good song. I mean, it's still something that we connect with and still something, you know, we love the lyrics. It's a really good song. Qui était le plus rebelle entre vous? I yeah. think, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> the most rebellious was Tom, for sure. Georg was yeah. the wildest. I was probably the most rebellious. But Georg was wild. He was... Now he changed completely. But Georg was very wild at the time. Like, I he was, was a wild cat. But you yeah. know what? I think we were all rebellious in our own way. We had a band together because we were all so different. A lot of people were like, Oh my God, he listens to hip-hop. Your brother is wearing makeup. And the other ones are, you know, in a completely different section that I don't even know which section that would be. But, <laughs> you know, people were like, What the the fuck that can't be in a band yeah. that can't be true they can't be friends they can't yeah. hang out together and i think that that was a really rebellious statement at the time that we were like no fuck it like we love each other and we love to make music and we want to be together Comment vous avez vécu vos premiers succès? Uh, I think you understand life backwards always. And I think that, you know, now looking back, we only, uh, we understand now how crazy it was. And I think we all had to take some time away from the career to, you know, digest what really happened and to understand what happened. It's been a really crazy roller coaster ride. C'était une expérience uniquement positive pour vous? No. 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 It's hard enough being a teenager in general, you know, it's like, you know, you go through so many different phases, you're about to find yourself and who you are in life, what you want to do, blah, blah, blah. You know, having this much attention and, and living this life. I mean, we were in a, in a bubble at the time, you know, we didn't really experience any other, other, yeah. And now looking back, I mean, we don't know it any other way. I mean, of course, what you wanted anymore because you were guarded. Now we're like four brothers, you know, we, we know each other since we are 12 years old. It can't get any closer. 
Now that we're on tour, it's like it's crazy. Like all of a sudden you turn 15 again and it's like nothing ever, you know, changed. And we've played so many tours together and it's like the energy is still the same. First and foremost, we are family. We talk every day. Like there's not a single day we don't speak. So it doesn't really even feel like we live in different no. cities. And then we see each other all the time. And living living in on different continents is also part of the balance, I feel like, because everybody found their own Happiness. home. Yeah. Our private lives are very different. Very different. We always very say different. we always say very, when very different. Very different. Very different. <laughs> People always ask us, like, what would you still be friends if you would like meet today? And then Georg said, you know what? We wouldn't even go to the same parties. And that's yeah probably very true i don't go to any party he doesn't go to any parties he's very he became very boring so he lives a very boring life and gustav still lives in our hometown where we grew up he built a house there a beautiful house he lives there with his wife and his daughter and he's very happy for tom and i we could have never imagined staying there i wanted to you know get out of there as quickly as i could we fell in love with los angeles and you know and now tom lives with his wife and i live by myself i live the single life you know i'm the uh, pgf the party girl I go out every night. I work a lot, but yeah, I'm I'm single as a Pringle. Good to know for the audience. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm very I'm very open for groupie sex. So yeah, wow, <laughs> <laughs> that's a great end. <laughs>